Hello. Hi guys, how's everybody doing? Welcome to Power. My name is Lauren. My husband Danny. My student today. Um, glad to have you here. All right, so this is a power class. If you have a block, that'd be awesome. Place it up towards the top of your mat. You can also use a heavy book, um, a large jug of some kind, just something to sort of support yourself um, in some of those trickier poses. All right, we're going to begin in child's pose. So come on down, find your way into your child's pose, making it comfortable. Toes together, knees out, reach your arms forward. Stretch the arms, let the forearms rest, let the forehead rest. Child's pose. You can wiggle if you'd like a little side to side, work into the hips. Or drop your head side to side. When you're feeling ready, finding stillness on your mat and allowing the breath to start to come into the body. So big, deep inhale, big, deep exhale. And again, big inhale, fill the lungs, big exhale, release. God, one more, just like that. Make it even deeper, inhaling, opening the mouth, exhaling. Go ahead, seal your lips. Start to breathe in and out through the nose. Ujjayi breath if it's in your practice. Working on dragging the air across the back of the throat each inhale. Pressing it from the back of the throat out the nose each exhale. And then just take a few moments. Work into a rhythm in your breath. Try to keep this rhythm throughout practice. Helps you stay connected. The thread that weaves through your practice. So be committed to that breath. Try to stay to it. Bottom of your next exhale, gently begin to lift the hips. Make your way to your tabletop, hands underneath the shoulders, hips right over the knees. Uh, shaking the hips side to side, just wiggling out a little. Release the head and neck a bit. Uh, and then coming into stillness, inhale, drop your belly, look up, cow pose, arching through the back. Sending the collarbone, collarbone forward. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin. Pull the belly button to the spine, cat. Inhale, drop down, look up, cow. At exhale, tuck and round. Let's do a few more rounds, adding any movement that may feel good into your both spine here. Just moving intuitively. What do you need to warm your body up a little, get things moving? Be sure to repeat things so you can go one direction and switch and go the other side as well. Maybe back in stillness in just a couple more breaths. Coming back to your tabletop, readjust, finding that balance. On the inhale, reach the right arm up high towards the ceiling, lengthen, and then exhale, thread the needle down to the right shoulder, right ear. Maybe keep the left arm where it's at, or stretch it towards the top of your mat, pressing the left armpit down towards the ground. Good. As you settle into this pose, allowing the shoulders to have a moment to open, a little more space in the rotator cuff. Start to walk the left hand back, plant that hand into the air. Inhale, stretch the right arm back up. Exhale, drop down to your mat. Inhale, the left arm comes, reach into the ceiling. Exhale, thread the needle down to the left shoulder, left ear. And then if you did so on the other side, stretching the right arm forward. And then again, press that right armpit down towards the ground. Giving it a few breaths. As you settle into the stretch. And let's bring the right hand back, plant the hand into the ear. Inhale, stretch the left arm back high. And exhale, back 
hands onto your tabletop. Got simply turn the hands around so the wrists are now facing forward, the fingertips are facing towards your knees. Uh, just a nice stretch in the forearms and the wrists, maybe slightly leaning back. It's going to be a little bit of an intense stretch, so giving yourself a moment with it. Well, let's do one more inhale, one more exhale. And then gently flip the hands back around. Tuck your toes, and we're going to lift the knees up off the mat just about two inches. Go breathe in, and then on the exhale, you're going to send your right knee towards your right elbow, just like you're sending it forward, stepping forward with the knee. Go ahead and come back to tabletop. Exhale, bring left elbow, left knee, inhale back. Exhale, bring it forward. Good. Inhale the back. Exhale. Inhale. Good. Keep the movement going. A little warm up, sort of like a modified mountain climber, making the core work, the arms, the legs. Right. Let's go for just a few more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Tabletop and lift the hips. Downward facing dog, paddle out, giving your legs a shake, maybe even shaking the head. Uh, if it feels nice, come up on the tippy toes or drop the knees down towards the mat. Uh, big breath in and big breath out. Inhale, come up on the tippy toes. Bend your knees and drop your right hip down to the ground. You're going to come to the pinky edge of the right foot, the inside of the left foot. Inhale all the way back up to down dog. And then exhale, switch. You can draw, bend the knees, drop the feet down, hip down. Uh, inhale up. Exhale, drop to your right. Inhale, come up. Exhale, drop down to the left. One more time each side. Inhale up. Exhale, drop it right. Inhale back to down dog again. Last time, drop it over to the left. Uh, back to downward facing dog. Big exhale out. Take your gaze up towards your hands, yogis, and walk yourself slow up for ragdoll pose. Coming up out to the middle of your mat. Feet hip width distance apart, arms can flop down towards the earth. Release the back of the neck as much as you can. Find a healthy bend in the knees. Relax that lower back. Always the option to grab onto the elbows. Sway if you prefer, side to side. Giving yourself a moment to get the tension out of that lower back. If you've been swaying, gently come on back to center. Relax the hands down to the floor, little to no tension. Give yourself one more breath. And then bringing the fingertips to the floor, scoot your feet in towards one another. Now big toes touch, heels are just parted. Look in towards your belly, tuck your chin to your chest and roll slow. One vertebrae at a time, taking your time. Then we're standing tall on the mat. Go ahead and draw the old shoulders up to the ears. Relax the hands down by the back. Good, pressing the feet into the earth. We're going to lengthen up through the leg muscles, so pull up through the quads. Pull the belly button in and up. Relax the shoulders down. Throat chakra, you're going to pull your chin slightly in towards your throat. Lengthening the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Go, let's give it an inhale. And exhale. Beautiful. Inhale. Tadasana, mountain pose. Draw the arms up. Biceps are by the ears. You can say that, right? <laughs> shoulders relax down. Good. As you draw the shoulder blades together right here, but still reach up into the ceiling with the fingertips. Good. Breathe in. On your exhale, drop your right arm back, left arm forward, extending the left arm towards the front of the room. Push your right hip forward so that the hips don't twist. Twist is happening all right here in the center of the back. Good. Inhale back up. Back to Tadasana Mountain. And now exhale, drop your left arm back, right arm forward. And again, check in with your hips. Move that left hip forward. The twist might not be as deep. You could definitely reach further if you open through the hips, but we want to twist through the spine. 
to inhale, bring it back up, Tadasana. Exhale, back bend, Anubhutasana. Lifting the heart gently, dropping the elbows, looking to the ceiling. Uh, inhale, stretch tall. Uh, exhale, take your hands back behind you. Interlace those fingers at the lower back. As you inhale, press the fist away from your lower back. Look up towards the ceiling, open to the heart. Now slightly bend the knees and exhale forward. Full, bringing your chest down towards your thighs. Look between your knees. Push the fist up towards the ceiling. You can keep that bend in the knees here just to protect the hamstrings. One more inhale as you reach the fist to the ceiling. Then exhale, gently relax it down to the back and finally to the floor for forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Step your feet to the back of your mat for plank pose. Dandasana. Pause in here for a moment. Make sure the fingers are spread out nice and wide just to create a firmer base. Feet about hip width distance apart. Heels are pressing towards the back of the room. Feeling strong in our plank. Inhale, hinge forward slightly. Bring your shoulders over the fingertips. Now exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, flip the feet over. Lift the hips forward. Top of the head towards the ceiling. And then exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Now that full process is Chaturanga Dandasana. You can take it from the toes or from the knees. You can also fold plank for about five seconds and then come to down dog to skip the back bend. Uh, inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step, hop, make your way up. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, squeeze your shoulder blades. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, mountain pose, Tadasana. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward, right hip tucks forward. Inhale, mountain, reach up. Exhale, left arm back, right arm forward, tuck the left hip. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to the lower back, interlace your fingers. Inhale, punch away, look up. Exhale, slide bend in the knees, forward fold. Looking between the legs, inhale, reach the fist high. Exhale, relax the hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float your way to the back of your mat. Bring your chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog with that exhale breath. Go one more time through our sun A. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step, hop or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Exhale, right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, left arm back. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, hands to the lower back, interlace fingers. Inhale, look up, push the fist away. Exhale, forward fold. One more inhale here. Exhale, release the hands down to the floor. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or float back. Woo! Chaturanga. Back to your downward facing dog. Big exhale when you get there. Woo! Shake it out, getting ready to move on. Um. Inhale, take your right leg high, heel up, hip down, flex the toes down towards the mat below you. Good. Exhale. Step forward, all the way forward towards your right wrist. Then let that left knee come down to the floor. Untuck the left toes. Inhale, rise up for a nice low crescent. Good. Take your hands to your lower back like we did just a moment ago. We're going to interlace the fingers of the low back. Pushing the left hip forward, right hip slightly back. Reach the fist away from the lower back. Push forward so that the right knee is coming over your toes and then look up. So we're adding into the psoas stretch a little back bend. So opening the heart to the ceiling. Keep those fingers engaged as they reach away from the lower back. Keep pushing the left hip forward a little more than the right. Uh, start to lift back up to center. Release the bind of the hands. Set the hips back towards the back of the room. Toes are flexing up towards your face. Half splits pose, Ardha Humanasana. Good. If you're feeling tight in your hamstring, always the option to drop down, have a seat on your heel. You're still going to get a nice stretch in that hamstring. Another option, reach forward, hold your toes, pull the toes back towards your face, calf stretch. If your hips are slightly lifted, another good option is to flatten the foot down all the way to the mat. 
you gotta stretch right along the side of that shin bone. Good, breathe in. And out. Walk your hands forward, planting the hands, lifting the back knee to low lunge. Inhale, we'll get that right leg back high, three-legged dog. Shake it out, give it a couple hip circles, and then relax it down to the floor. Inhale, left leg high. Hip down, toes down towards the floor, lift your heel. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Drop the right knee down now, untuck the toes. Inhale, come up. Again, crescent move, low crescent pose. Hands come back again, interlacing at the lower back behind you. There we go. Pressing the fist away from the lower back, lifting the heart, and hinging forward, bringing the left toes over the, or the left knee over the toes. Push your right hip forward. Keep engaging the chest up towards the ceiling. Gaze is up, opening through the heart. Good, big psoas stretch, big heart opener. Nice, so if you start to slowly lift yourself back to center, release the body with the hands, fingertips to the floor, heel on the earth, toes up towards the ceiling, half splits. Good, and then take it to the level that feels good to you. If this hamstring's tighter than the other side, drop down. Feeling like you have a little more space, maybe stay a little lifted. Take those options, maybe drawing the toes back towards the face, calf stretch. Or flattening the foot to the ground, stretch along the side of that shin bone. Good, right, settle into the stretch for one more inhale, one more exhale. Now walk your hands forward, plant the hands, tuck toes, lift the back knee, inhale, three legged dog. Left leg up, again, shake it out, give it some hip circles, and then relax it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step, hop, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, we can toss in the bend the knees. Drop those hips, reach the arms up. Good, working into chair pose. Weight is in your heels. You want to tuck your booty under, protect that lower back. So if your booty's out and your back is arched, you're just going to damage and kind of overstrain the back. So tuck the hips under. Good. Keep the weight in the heels. Draw the shoulder blades down. If your arms are feeling tired, you can goal pose, bend the elbows. You can also bring your hands to heart center. We'll be here for just another moment in our chair pose. So give it an inhale. Exhale. Good. One more inhale. Now listen close. Exhale, stand tall, hands come to heart center, just straightening the knees. Good, standing on your mat. Samasitahiti, standing at attention. Inhale, mountain pose. Tadasana, reach the arms up. Exhale, back bend. Anubhutasana, looking up. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, Uttanasana, fold. Good. Listen up here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, release the hands. Fingertips on the earth or on the block. You're going to want that block handy here. <coughs> Inhale, you're going to take standing splits pose by lifting the left foot up. So keeping the left hip down, just like we did in a three-legged dog. Yeah, let's get that block underneath the hands. If you're feeling st too stretchy in your hamstring, get the block. Give yourself a few extra inches. Uh, breathe in. Now from here, exhale, knee to nose. Bring your left knee forward. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. You don't have to actually touch the knee. You're just gonna look like a little flamingo for a sec. Good, inhale, stretch that leg back out. Back to standing splits. And now gently bend the right knee, let the left toes hit the back of your mat, and lift your torso up to crescent lunge. High crescent now, Anjaneyasana. Good, just like we did when we were down with the knee, you wanna bring the left hip forward a lot. Kind of scooch that right hip back just a little. Nice. Finding the length in your torso here. So reaching the hips and the ribs away from each other as much as you can. Give it a breath in. Good. On your exhale, take your hands behind your lower back, interlace the fingers, and take that same back bend, pressing the fists away, lifting the heart high. Good. Keep the hips working. Legs are strong. Working both quads. Breathe in. Good, gently release, take your gaze back forward, stretch the arms back up again, Anjaneyasana. Good, readjust, find your place, 
Feeling comfortable? Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, hinge forward slightly. So almost like you're bowing slightly forward, but not all the way. So I've got more of a straight line from the top of my head down into the back of my foot. And now I'll exhale, twist. So drop your left elbow in front of your right knee or right on top also works. Working on twisting through the spine. So similar to our opening pose in our sun A with our twist, you want to twist through the spine but not work the hips. Option to open the arms if you'd like, flying them out, right arm up to the ceiling, left arm up, or left arm down to the floor. But if you're flying those arms, bring them back to heart center. And inhale, slowly untwist, reach the arms back up one more time on Janayasana. Uh, and exhale, reach forward, drop your left hand down, reach your right arm high for a low lunge twist. Option to stay in your twist here, low lunge twist. Option to flip up on over. Nice wild thing, if you like it, reaching the hips up towards the ceiling. Good. From wherever you are, come on back. Find yourself back in a little lunge. Plant the hands and then step up. Swing that right leg high, three-legged dog. Just for this first round, giving it that shit go. Good. And then exhale, down dog. From downward facing dog, inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step up. <coughs> Float to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Good. Good. We're going to stay in our chair, sinking those hips down. Again, weight is in the heels. Wiggle those toes a little. Make sure you got the weight sitting back. Breathe in. Stay here. Breathe out. One more inhale. Good. On our exhale, hands to heart center, straighten the legs, stand tall. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Uh, inhale, halfway lift. Good. On this one, exhale, fingertips to the floor. Getting ready for standing splits. The right leg is going to swing on the inhale to our standing splits pose. So you're planting the left arm or left leg, fingertips on the floor or your block, reaching that right heel high, keeping the right hip nice and low. Inhale, breath, and now exhale, knee to nose. Again, that little flamingo pose. Bringing the knee forward, tucking the chin. Inhale, stretch it back up, standing splits. Find your balance. Gently begin to bend into the left knee. Right toes are going to hit the mat below you. Lift the torso, lift the arms on Shayasana. High crescent pose. Good. Right hip forward. Left hip back and down. Shoulders relax, nice and tall in the torso. Plant the, the ball of your foot. Heel is high on that right foot. Gently release the hands. Interlace them at your lower back. Inhale, press away. Look up, open that chest. Good. Inhale, next breath, slowly release. Arms come back up. One more time, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to heart center. Right, getting ready. We're going to reach forward just slightly and pause for a moment. Good. So the top of my head is in line with my back foot. That's as far forward as you need to bow down. As you twist, right elbow to left knee. Press the hands together, left elbow up towards the ceiling. Thumbs are in towards your sternum. Good. Option to open up the arms if you did so on the other side. Flying those arms out. Keep that twist in your spine. Hands back to heart if you're flying the arms. Untwist. Reach back up. Anjaneyasana. Catch your breath. Find your pose. Uh, and now bow all the way down, right hand to the floor, left hand stretches high, low lunge twist. Staying here, we're coming all the way over, if you did so on the other side, wild thing. Beautiful. Hands back to the floor, back to your low lunge, plant the hands, sweep that left leg up one time. Again, on this first side only, give it a little shake out. And then exhale back, downward facing dog. Big deep breath in, yogis. Big deep breath out, ready to flow. Breath to movement. Inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step, hop, or float. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, stand tall, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain tadasana. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingers to the floor. Inhale, standing splits, left leg high. Exhale, knees and elbows. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, lower the toes down to the mat. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, hands interlace. Looking up, giving yourself back bend. Good, release and inhale back, Anjaneyasana. Exhale, hands to heart, bow forward and twist, left elbow, right knee. <coughs> Inhale, open the arms if you want to. Exhale, back to hands at heart. Inhale, untwist, rise up. Exhale, low lunge, twist, left hand down. Pause here, flip if you want to. Good, coming back. Low lunge. Step your feet together, back of your back, chaturanga. Back to downward facing dog. Big exhale, drive. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step, hop or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands at heart, standing tall. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, standing splits, right leg up. Exhale, knee the nose. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bend the knee, drop the toes. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, hands back, interlace, back bend. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, hands to heart, lean forward and twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, hands to heart. Good. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, low lunge twist, right hand down, left hand high. Inhale, stay or flip. Exhale, hands back. Step back, chaturanga. Beautiful, you guys, one more time, each side, downward facing dog. Inhale, look to the top. Exhale, step, hop or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips on the mat. Inhale, standing splits, left leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bend the knee, let the toes hit. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, interlace fingers back, bend. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, hands to heart and twist. Stay or inhale, open. Exhale, hands back. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, low lunge twist, left hand down, right hand high. Inhale, stay or flip. Good. Exhale, hands to the floor. Inhale, step your feet together, and chaturanga. Nicely done, yogis. Just the last side to go. Exhale, breath. Inhale, look up. Exhale, step, hop, or flip, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, back. Inhale, stretch tall. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, right leg high, three leg or standing splits. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bend, let the toes hit. Inhale, rise up, high crescent. Exhale, hands interlace, back bend. Inhale, back crescent. Exhale, hands to heart and twist. Inhale, stay twist or open. Exhale, hands back. Inhale, rise up, crescent. 
Exhale, low lunge, stretch right hand down, left hand high. Inhale, stay or flip. Back to your low lunge. Step your feet together, back of your mat, Chaturanga Yogi's almost there. Back to downward facing dog, big exhale. Breath in, big audible exhale. <sighs> Breath out. Beautiful guys, drop down to your knees. Have a seat on your mat. Getting ready for a little core. Mm, have a quick drink if you need it. <laughs> and then we'll set up for our core. All right. For core. Scooch to the top of your mat. Plant your feet. Reach the arms out in front. Lower nice and slow. All the way down to your back. When you get there, give the knees a good squeeze into your chest. Good. Extend the legs up towards the ceiling, hands down by your sides. Good. We're going to do a nice leg lift, so lower the legs. Try to keep your lower back on the mat the whole time, and then kick them back up. Adding in a crunch here, so turning the palms crunching, or option crunching up towards the toes. Then drop the legs down, leg lift back up. Crunch or toes. Leg lift, dropping. Bring it up, reaching for a crunch or towards your toes. Drop the legs, bring them up. Big exhale, crunch. Nice guys, lower, lift, reach. Good, lower, lift, reach. Again, lower the legs, lift. Reach. We'll do two more. Lower. Woo! Come on, Danny. Lift. Reach. Last one. Lower. Leg lift. No, you are not. Lift. And relax the feet down to the floor. Whew. Option to reach the arms up overhead. Give yourself a nice stretch. Whew. Good. Hands back behind the head. Thumbs around your temples. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. And then let your right foot come to the mat. So you're going to roll on your left hip, let your right foot hit the earth. Good. So we're going to do some oblique crunches. So you're going to lift both shoulders up, back down, and up, and down. Notice it's a lot easier to get the right shoulder off the mat. Try to get your left shoulder off the mat, too. Straight up, straight down. You're looking straight at the ceiling, not at your belly. Trying to keep those elbows nice and wide. Crunching it up. Don't worry about how fast or slow you go. Just keep crunching up. Keep moving. Work that right oblique right here. That's what's working here. Pinching your sides together. Good. Going for about 10 more seconds. Get in a few more reps. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Lifting back up. Plant the left foot. Release the right foot. Take your left ankle over that right knee now. And then roll to your right hip. Let your left foot come to the earth. Good. Elbows are still wide. Gaze is still up towards the ceiling. Crunching up. Lowering down. Crunching up. And down. Good. Again, trying to get that right shoulder blade on this side up off the earth as high as the left. It's not always possible, but just keep on working it. Straight up. Straight down. Pinch that left side together. Work that oblique. Good. Keep it moving. Don't worry about your speed, just keep going. Nice, you guys. We've got about 10 seconds. Once again, just get in a few more reps. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and one. After that, lifting that up. Let's stretch out, take a nice pencil stretch. Got one last movement for our core series. Bring your hands down by your sides, palms are up towards the ceiling. Then lift your legs up all the way up like we did a moment ago. Good, now you're going to notice your lower back. You don't want any space between your back and the mat. Lower the legs down. As long as you can keep your low back on the mat, that's good. Don't go any lower. As soon as your lower back comes off the earth, that's where your legs need to come back. Plant the sole, your low spine, and then stay there. 
Now lift your shoulders, hands off the ground, reach your hands down towards your legs, past your legs perhaps. Keep balancing here for Ardha, no, Ardha Navasana, half boat pose. Belly button in towards the spine. Good, gets a little hard to talk in this one. So let's breathe, about 15 more seconds. Here we go, 10, 9, 8, you got this, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees in, give yourself a squeeze, roll around a little. Whew. Nicely done, young knees. Rock and roll when you're ready. Forward and back a few times, taking time to massage your spine. Good. And then have a quick drink. Meet me back in down dog when you're feeling ready. We're going to move on. Make sure you've got the block right at the top of your mat for this next section. Alrighty. Here we go. Downward facing dog in three. Downward facing dog in two. Back to downward facing dog. Get back to your breath. Big inhale. Big exhale. And now in through the nose. Out through the nose. But inhale, look to the top of your mat. Exhale, step, pop, or float, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Good. Exhale, hands to heart, stand tall. Inhale, mountain to dasana. You know this part. Exhale, back bend. Good. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Good, exhale, fingertips to the floor. Again, the standing split. Inhale, take your left heel high, standing splits. Exhale, knee to nose. Here's where we change it up, yogis. Inhale, standing splits. Exhale, bring it knee to nose again, and as you do so, start to stand up nice and slow. Hands to heart center. Left leg comes forward. March position. One-legged Tadasana, mountain. Good, toes are flexing towards your face. Standing strong in that right leg. Breathe in. Good, take your left hand to your waist, palm up, and then kick your left foot back behind you. Reach back, hold on to the inside arch of the foot. Good, getting the knees a little closer together. Getting ready for dance or pose. Matrajasana. On your inhale, stretch your right arm forward, palm facing forward, shoulder down. Exhale, start to kick away from the body first, and then maybe start kicking to the ceiling. Notice as soon as you start kicking, you're in dancer pose. So everything after that is just gravy. Just keep working your kick, chest staying high, finding your balance by staring fixedly at something that's not moving. Keep that breath steady and strong. Breathe in. Good. Exhale. Option if you want it, yogis. Here's where the block comes in handy. Sugar cane, chapasana pose. So fingertips. <laughs> oh, F it. <laughs> Guys, sometimes teachers fall out of poses too. All right? Teachers are people. We are people too. Sugar cane pose, chapasana. From a dancer, you reach down to your block. Stumble a little. Hey, it's all good. And then we reach the toes up towards the ceiling now, keeping the chest open. No worries if you've fallen out completely like Danny. It's all good. We're going to slowly make our way back up to the answer. Here's where I'm going to really struggle. Here we go. Found it. All right. From the answer, gently release. Step back. Woo! Crescent lunge. There we are, yogis. All right. Feel that burn in your right leg. Gorgeous. Exhale, hands back. Interlace. Give yourself that beautiful back bend, lifting the heart. Pressing the fists away. Nicely done. Breathe in. Start to lift hands back up, overhead. Uh, exhale, hands to heart center. Hinge, twist. One more time. Revolve, crescent lunge. Good. From here, here's where we change a little. Stay low. Drop your hands on the inside of your right foot. Send your right leg out to the edge of your mat. Drop your left knee down. Untuck your toes. Runner's lunge. Option to drop down to the forearms. Start one at a time. Generally, the outside arm comes down a little easier than the inside arm. 
if you need a block, if you would like it to make this feel a little comfier, it's there and it's accessible. Go ahead, working your inner thighs, outer hip. You're welcome to keep the right knee close to the shoulder or out away from the shoulder, pinky edge of the foot on the mat. Find what feels best and then just slightly tuck, relax the forehead down towards the arm so that you're relaxing the back of the neck. Back to the earth. 
Coming back to low lunge, lift the back knee. Send the left leg back. Chaturanga. To down dog. Happens to be your last Chaturanga practice. Good. Inhale, lift to the top of your mat. Come on up. Out a seat at the top of your mat. Good. Plant the soles of your feet. Lower on down to your back. All right, right ankle over the left knee. Lift up, reach, and hold on to the back of your left hamstring, and releasing your fingers, and then relax your head back down to the mat Good. for a reclined pigeon. You can use your right elbow to press into your right knee. Option also to straighten out the left leg if that feels nice. You can also keep your left hand where it's at, reach with your right hand, holding on to that right foot. All right, lots of ways to work this reclined pigeon. Give it about three more breaths wherever you find yourself now. Grab the bottom of your next exhale and come back. And now you're going to cross your knees, so your right knee is going to come over your left. Just like you're seated and having cross legs. And then reach forward and hold onto your ankles. All right, so my right hand has my left ankle, my left hand has my right ankle. All right, so gomu kasana legs, cow, close, cow face closed legs. Tuck your chin, keep it long. Now, we're gonna play with this. This might be enough right here, just holding the ankles. You can also squeeze the knees a little tighter to your chest, involve your glutes a bit more. Another option is to reach the feet away from each other, almost like you're pulling the ankles away. Uh, and we'll give it a few breaths here. Danny has quit on this one. <laughs> That's okay. This one's a lot of hips and kind of those tighter areas for a lot of gentlemen. Uncross the knees completely. Give them a good squeeze, wrapping your arms around your shins. And just pulling those knees tight to your chest just for a moment. Just hold it there. Good. And now plant the right foot. Left ankle over that right knee. Reach forward and release the fingers at the back with the right hamster. For that supine pigeon pose, bringing that knee in towards the body. And then using your left elbow to push the left knee away. And then if you did on the other side, maybe straighten the leg. Keep holding on to the right leg with the right hand. Reach forward with the left arm, grab those toes. If you did so on the other side, guys. Everything's always optional. What feels good to you? Knees crossed, and for the cow face pose, reach forward, grab your ankles, relax your head back to the mat. Notice this side could feel quite different than the other, so just play around with it. What feels good here? Maybe it's again squeezing those knees tight to your chest, or maybe pulling the ankles slightly away from each other. Keep trying to tuck the chin, lengthen the back of the neck, and give it a couple more breaths. Holding steady. squeeze and we'll pause here, lifting that tailbone, relaxing the lower back. And then drop the feet to the floor, feet are the book distance apart, hands down by your sides. Uh, we're going to get into a little bit of bridge work here for our booties just to finish off, you know, keeping things tight. All right, tuck your tailbone under and then lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Good. And from here we're going to pulse it up to the ceiling for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it back down. 
Extend your right leg up to the ceiling, heel up. Now lift your hip back to bridge and pulse from here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop that right leg, drop your hips. Left leg extends. Lift your hips. Here we go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Relax the hips. Good. Just a couple more sets. Let's put the t Let's put the heels on the ground, toes up towards the ceiling. Now lift the hips, staying on your heels, pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. No one legged on this one. Now toes on the ground, heels lifted, lift the hips. Maybe walk the feet a little closer in towards your booty and lift 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, and relax. Hug the knees in. You might feel this in your lower back, so give them a good squeeze, and then maybe roll a little side to side. From here, kick your feet up towards the ceiling. Happy baby pose. Knees on either side of the body. Snuggle those knees down towards your armpits. Press your tailbone towards the floor. Tuck your chin. You're welcome to hang out in stillness in your happy baby, or straighten out the legs a bit. If you'd like, give me some more hamstring stretch. Good. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Another good squeeze. And then send the legs up towards the ceiling. Legs on a wall pose. Toes are flexed back towards your face. Hands down by your sides. Tuck your chin. Option if you want to, you can pick up the arms, relax from the wrists, and then drop the shoulder blades back to the earth. Dead bug pose. You can stay here. If you prefer yogis, if you'd like to get into a shoulder stand or a plow pose, you're more than welcome. Be gentle with your neck. Try not to move the head when you're in those poses. Good. We're going to all meet back, legs on a wall pose, in just about two or three breaths. So take your time. Make your way back, bending the legs up towards the ceiling. Relax the arms back to the floor. And then lower just the left leg down to your mat. Pull your right knee into your chest, interlace your fingers on top of the shin. Squeeze the right knee to the chest first. Give it an inhale. Exhale. Now pull it over to your right side, squeeze it in towards the side body. And again, inhale. And exhale. Left hand on the knee, take it across the supine twist. Options for your supine twist today. Roll it onto the left hip. Maybe extend the right leg out nice and straight. Another option if you want. You can bend that left leg in towards your butt. Reach down and hold the foot if you can catch it. It still feels nice just to bend it, even if you can't catch it with your fingers. And then gently looking over that right shoulder. Always trying to keep both shoulders on the mat. Breathing for about five breaths in supine twist. Bring the left knee up to join it. Give yourself a squeeze. Reset the lower back. And now extend the legs back up to the ceiling. And lower only the right leg slowly all the way down to your mat. Bend the left knee in. Interlace the fingers. Squeeze it into your chest. Nice and tight. Feel a hip pinch. Give it an inhale. And exhale. Now pull it over to the side body when relieving pose. Again, for that inhale breath. 
And then supine twist, guiding left knee across. If you did this on the other side, straightening out. I'm going to kick my head to the right in the head. <laughs> so I guess I won't straighten on that side. Option to bend the leg underneath you, reaching for the toes if you can get, get them. They're there somewhere. Shoulders stay on the mat, looking to your left. And we have about five breaths in our supine twist. up to the ceiling one last time. Flex the toes back to your face and we're going to lower them to the count of five. So five, four, Stretch up overhead, big lengthening stretch. Maybe roll to your favorite side if you'd like fetal position. And then stay right where you are if you'd like, or maybe come on up to a seat. Finishing class together, Yogi. Yeah, he's gonna stay. <laughs> I'd like to thank my husband for being a good sport, coming on the uh, video with me today. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Thank you for joining me. We bow forward with light and love. Namaste. <laughs>